Hello and welcome back. Um, it's been a little bit since I've posted another video. I'm looking at another monitoring tool. It's been around for a long time. I've actually used it in uh, previous uh, life, as they say. Uh, it's called uh, Cacti, and uh, it's good for routing, uh, graphing your routers. Um, you can use it for actual systems and stuff like that, too, like a Linux system or uh, whatever you'd like. But uh, what I'll do is I'll show you how to install that. It's going to be the latest version of it. It's going to be the 8.8b, and it'll also be on CentOS 6.5. Um, so first off, we're just going to run a quick uh, update to make sure that we have everything. And so there's no packages, so that's good. Type clear for that. Uh, now we actually need to install uh, some of the packages. Um, I'm going to do it in two separate steps, but you could do it all in one if you wanted to. Uh, believe it or not, it was more for a layout issue on my uh, website. Um, but I am working hard at getting that up to date so that you can get a better feel of uh, the different directions that I want to go with this with the documentation side of it. Okay, so first we're going to install PHP, uh, HP, HTTP server. Um, MySQL server, MySQL server, PHP, MySQL, Vim enhanced, and NetSNMP. See how that first batch goes. All right, all that looks like it went good. Now we're gonna do the uh, next set. Basically, this will be the RRD tool, the wget um, utils for SNMP. So we can do some uh, neat little tests with that stuff. Hey, okay. all that stuff looks good, no issues, not no packages missing, so we should be good there. And change it to the temp directory real quick. And just have the yum log in there. And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to uh, download the source. And it's there, it's there. Now we're going to untar it. Okay. Now that's good. Now I've got that directory. Uh, now we're going to move the whole directory. RWW.TML. Basically, we're just moving it from the uh, downloaded files that were in the tar file or zip file to the uh, HTML directory in a folder called cacti. Now we need to create the user. Group, so we'll do a group add. Okay. Group add of cacti, we'll do user add. Group cacti and CAC cacti user. Now we create a password for cacti user. Now we're going to change it to the uh, directory where we just copied all those files, which is basically the web server location. And there we have all the different files that we basically copied. Now that we're here, we're going to change ownership. Minus R for recursively to cacti user. RRA directory and the log. And I hope if I spell cacti correctly. And now we're actually going to do the MySQL database, just check to make sure it's good, and uh, set up a user account and stuff like that for that as well. Uh, so, first, we're going to uh, start that.
Okay, that looks like it's good. Now we're going to do a check config. That's equal D on. So now it'll start after a reboot. And now we need to create a, a password. Okay, so basically I just changed the root password to cacti. I'm creating a database called Cacti. And then now we're going to um, go to the directory that I believe we're already in, but if you, ha if you weren't in that directory, you need to get in this directory. And the file that we're looking for is the SQL file. So it's be Cacti. Well, let's make sure it's there. It's there. And then now we're going to import it. Okay, now that that database has been imported. And now we're on the, in the MySQL stuff here. Um, what we can do here is we're going to grant access to a user. Uh, so it would be grant all on cacti. To see cacti user at local host. Okay, I basically created that user. Um, the cacti user at local host, password of cacti, to that database, the cacti, anything inside that database or any, anything after that. Kind of a little wild card there. And now we're going to flush the privileges. And put privilege has been flushed, and we're going to exit. Um... Check our directory again. We're in Cacti, so that's good. Uh, now what we need to do is actually change the, the database settings in the config.php file. So that'll be in the in include directory. And look for the config.php. And scroll down here, and here's where we have database cacti, localhost, cacti user, password, the cacti for us. I recommend you make this different. This is one that I do not use in uh, uh, production. All that stuff matches, that looks good. Uh, now we need to actually edit the uh, Chrome tab. Shows you basically what needs to go in there, a nice setup or example of it. This basically means is every five minutes, run this. Uh, we're going to change it or make it one because I want to be able to show you guys some data and uh, fill, fill this thing up pretty fast. All right, quit. Now we're going to do the MySQL e status. Looks like we're running, so everything's good there. Also going to check our HTTP uh, server. Is that it stopped? So we're going to do a service HTTP start. Started OK. Now we're going to do a check config. The web server as well, HTTP on. So it'll be there after it reboots. And then from that point, we should be able to go to our web server and see uh, a main page for it. And then uh, we'll, we'll go from there. Okay, this is going to go through a quick little installation. Uh, everything's there. We're, we're good to go. So we'll hit next here. It's a new install. It's pre-filled all the information that we had in there. Type of system is Unix, Linux. 
Hit next. Showing us that all the tools that are there are needed and have been found. RRD tool, uh, SNMP stuff. And uh, then here we just hit finish. And the initial is going to be admin and admin. And it's going to force you to change the password. And then put in a new password. And that is the installation of Cacti uh, 0.8.8b. And then uh, I'll let this run a little bit so you can see some of the graphs. Um, right now there's nothing because it basically just started. If you look real close, you can see that there's some uh, data that's slowly being graphed here. Um, you actually hit a little uh, magnifying glass here and you zoom in. See, we're, we're getting data in now, so it is set up and looks good so far. Some of the information now is rolling into the graphs. Um, for inf more information, you can check out my website. Uh, probably the best thing is to click on the link that's uh, in the notes for this, um, and it will uh, take you to uh, where I've started uh, setting up a docu wiki, um, and uh, hopefully that will uh, make things a little bit easier better steps and stuff like that. Again, uh, you get my information at docuwiki.bing14.net. Thanks a lot, and uh, please let me know what you think of these videos. If I need to do more or less uh, different ones, give me some ideas of stuff that I can set up. I'd love it. Uh, again, thank you for listening.